Let's examine results of the insert method invocation. If you just pass one object, you will get right result back from Mongo. And if document was inserted successfully, you will get key value pair, key is n inserted, number inserted, and value will be 1. If you pass an array of objects on the left, you will get bulk write results in return. And in this example, if you passed an array of three objects and all those objects led to creation of documents, you will see an inserted three. All other values will be zeros or just empty arrays. Let's look at this in action and switch to MongoDB shell. Now I am connected to native Mongo shell. Please note that you must have already MyDB created. And in MyDB, so I am currently in MyDB, you should have collections first and second created. And now I will insert documents into the collection named first. So let's do it. So db dot first, I can use just dot notation, or you can use get collection and pass in an argument first, then dot and insert. Let's insert just one empty object and just press enter. And here I've got a result, write result and inserted one. It means that one object was successfully inserted. Let's look at this object. Type just db.first, find and empty parentheses. Please remember that each document in the MongoDB must have a unique field with a name underscore id. And MongoDB will create this field automatically if you don't supply it while creating a new document. And this field will be created with a special BSON type called object ID. And here is an example of how Mongo has performed this action. So here is object ID. And here is the value of object ID. So it is 12 byte length value that consists of timestamp, machine identifier, process ID and counter. Let's create one more document. Just use same command, insert, and again pass empty object and press enter. Again result number of inserted one, so everything was successful and let's execute find command now. And now I get two documents as a result. And you see that object ID differs in this part so counter was incremented and differs in this part. Here is timestamp. So timestamp is different for both documents. Okay, let's now insert an array of objects. Just clear terminal CLS and type db.first insert and in the parentheses I will need to supply an array as an argument. Array of objects. So just add an array and put couple of objects into this array. Again, I will use just empty objects, so three objects. And press enter. And you will get a result that three documents were inserted into the collection. Let's examine collection now, db.first.find and empty parentheses and enter. And here you see that three new documents were added to existing two. Let's look at this information in Robo3T. So just switch to Robo3T, open connection to same server where you have just created those documents, switch to first collection and just double click on it. And you will see that automatically find command will be executed and here you will get same five documents. Please note that underscore ID was automatically created for each of them. And MongoDB have just incremented counters here. You see 0, 1, 
two, three, four. You see the timestamp for last three documents is same because all those documents were created during same second because we used insert command and passed to it an array of objects. Let's insert one more document here. So just use db.getCollection first and insert and let's insert again empty object. And command enter execute this command. And you see that one record was inserted. In Robo3D output is slightly different. It doesn't show you write result or bulk write result. It parses result first and then shows you result of this parsing. And let's perform find operation again, command enter, and you see that new document was added. Please notice that object ID format is different for this document because it was inserted from another shell. And here you see that machine ID and process ID are different from machine ID and process ID in other documents. Let's switch to MongoDB Compass and examine information there. I have already connected to the same server. Click on MyDB, then click on First Collection and you will see same six documents. Notice that they are displayed in the same order you have inserted those documents into the collection. Ok, let's switch back to MongoDB native shell and just remove all those documents that you have created. In order to remove documents, just type db.first, remove, parentheses and pass just an empty object here. So it is in fact query. We will talk about remove methods later on, so just issue this command. Write result removed 6. You see that after invocation of remove method, you will get also write result. But now with an object n removed and quantity of removed documents. Let's perform find operation again. db.first find empty parentheses enter. Now collection is empty. Let's go on and in the next section talk about insert1 method. See you shortly.